Welcome back. So we're behind the awning here uh, where our tank base is going to be, where our uh, 2,500 gallon tanks are going to sit. We're going to have two of those, one here, one over there. Uh, they'll be pretty close to each other. We'll have the pump house sitting right in the middle of them. That way we can have our water really close to where we need it. Uh, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to take uh, some stakes and measure this off. Uh, our tank bases are... Each tank is about, I think, almost eight or nine foot uh, in diameter wide. Uh, so we'll have to set them two down, measure that off. We've got kind of a slope here, so what we're going to do is uh, get it level. And then uh, that way we can get in some pea gravel in here to set our tanks on. But right now we're just going to work on this tank base to get it ready for the tanks. <laughs> Stakes are good. Uh, measured everything. Uh, everything's measuring pretty good. So uh, now we're just gonna throw some line on it, find out what's level, uh, get that all set up and marked, and then we'll start going from there.
you be in video? Were you warned? No. So we got the got the frame of it just about all done here. We gotta lay some geotextile down in there now. Give y'all a closer look. We got like a little step here. Well before we put a uh, geotextile down in the center, we're gonna grab some rebar. Let's see, I think we got some two foot rebar. Right here, we got some clamps that are going to go on it. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Basically, we're going to hit this in right here, put it by flush, hit in a, a bracket right there, and then we'll do it on the inside a few places as well, just to keep this uh, from moving around. It's just less hassle, basically. Yeah. Should I go about halfway to this one, or should uh, I keep it up? Are you going to put... Uh, you gonna put one M on the bottom and the top, right? I've got 20 of them. I've got. Oh, you got enough gold too to on each, each one. one. That's what we'll do. So you think right so there's good? Yeah, you want it down a little bit like this. Yeah. But not. Yeah, not all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Got the brackets going on like that. I'm hoping this is pulling. Maybe if it had another side, it's probably good for now, right?
the uh, tank base here. Um, it's nice. Little bitty pieces here. We're just gonna spread out the rake. Let's get started. Watch me. Free water. This is all from free water. So as you can see, we got the uh, the tank base uh, pretty much done here. Um, I've got all the gravel, the pea gravel spread out real nice. I used a rake and a flat shovel. We got a little taller on that end to give it a level fill. Um, we also, we're going to use the 2x4 to kind of spread the gravel a little bit better. Uh, that way it's nice and even. We're not trying to get it too perfect because whenever we get the the tanks and we have to slide them on here, it's gonna mess it up a little bit. We'll have to fix it from there. So I'm just wanting to make sure the the rock is kind of just spread out evenly the best it can and uh, somewhat close to the levels. That way we have something to work with when the tanks do get here. Uh, but this is the tank base. I hope y'all like this video. Uh, I had, we had a lot of fun doing this one and uh, I can't wait to get some uh, tanks and we get the water in there. Uh, free water for life, basically. All it took is a little bit up front cost, and this doesn't cost much to do. As long as you're doing it yourself, you can save a lot of money. With that being said, we'll see you next time. See ya!